Hello guys, and today I'm going to show you a game where there was three ways of getting checkmate using three different possible pieces to get checkmate at the end of the game. All from exactly the same position. First I'm going to show you the game. I didn't play particularly well most of this. Um, It's a game where I was trying some experimental styles. Now at this point um, they're attacking the pawn. I'll take a pawn. They take a pawn. Now, at this stage, I'm trying a different strategy of of hoping to take um, their knight for a bishop. Normally, people want it to be the other way round. And they have decided to try and um, do something strange. I'm not quite sure about, but never mind. Are they going to threaten to take my rook? I move my knight out of the way, so if they do take my rook, they will lose their queen. They're now threatening my queen. So I offer a queen exchange. They reject it. I force a queen exchange. I realise, however, that I'm trapped and that I cannot um, protect the rook no matter what I do. So I take a pawn instead. They then take my rook. I start um, threatening their pawn structure. They move a pawn out of the way. So they take my pawn. Now I move the bishop back to threaten their other pawn. I take one of my pawns, I take one of theirs. Now they threaten uh, my bishop, so I move it back for now. The castle, the idiot. Why do they always castle? Anyway. Now, I'm going to try to get rid of their bishop somehow. That was the plan. It doesn't quite happen, but that was the plan. Now my idea is to move the knight out of the way and then threaten to take off their bishop. It's annoying me oh, at this moment in time, potentially. But it will have some alternate use soon. What they're doing with the knight, I have no idea. But never mind. I move the king out of the way. This is so that now I can take their bishop. They take a pawn, threatening my rook, I take their bishop. They take my knight, I take their bishop. Sorry? Yes, I take their bishop. Now this this way can get rather interesting. I now take their, their knight. Quite why they did that, I have no idea. Maybe they wanted to lose, I have no idea. They're now threatening... Um,
I moved the bishop to attack the um, rook. Now, once again, they're threatening my. So I move the knight to protect it, so that if they take my bishop, or well, that might be, have been a good idea for them to do so, they will now um, lose their rock. The next thing I did, oh, so they then moved their knight. Presumably to try and attack my bishop. I then move my rock up. Now this is a move I do not understand. I do not know why they did this. I don't understand the benefit of it. I haven't a clue why they did this. But at this point, the game was lost by them. Now, from this position, there are three possible ways that Black, which was myself, could get checkmate in just one move. On the next move, it is checkmate by Black. And there are three ways of doing it with three different pieces. See if you can spot all three ways of getting checkmate um, with black um, being the next to move. I'm going to give you a countdown of 20. I'm not counting in seconds, I'm just going to count down in numbers backwards. 20 19 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Stop thinking. Now, have you discovered all three ways that black could get checkmate? Let's see. First, the move I actually did. I moved the rock up. Checkmate. It is checkmate because the king cannot move here, can't move down here because of that. And he can't move there because of the rook. And they can't move there. because of this bishop. Right, so, that's one way. Now you see where all the threats are, let's look at another way. Black could get checkmate. Black could get checkmate by moving the knight here, again. Black the king cannot move there or there or there because of the threats from here, the threat from there, and the threat from there.
So what's the third and final way that I could see of getting checkmate? Well, the other way is to move the bishop here. Again, this is also a checkmate because it cannot move here because of that and so it can't move to either of the white squares because of that and it cannot take the bishop because of the rook it's very rare that happens a game where there's more than one way of getting checkmate from exactly the same position especially using different pieces okay and because that is so rare that is why I thought I would show it to you, okay? I hope you managed to spot all three ways of getting checkmate. Thanks for watching. Bye.